Thursday saw the official launch of the Rainwater Harvesting Project with two participating secondary schools in the Big Parish, St. Joseph's Convent Grenville and the St. Andrew's Anglican Secondary School. The initiative is a collaborative effort by the Global Environment Facility, GEF, Small Grants Program, and the St. Andrew's Development Organization. Addressing the gathering, President of the St. Andrew's Development Organization, Rian Charles, explains SEDU's mandate as it relates to community development as well as the benefit of the Rainwater Habitat Project. That's educating or benefiting the, the, the parish of your education, of your culture. Um, we have been instrumental in, in bringing training such as these to other parts of the, the parish. Um, the Rainwater Habitat Project, um, in collaboration with the UNDP, global environmental facility and we found that it is very beneficial to our community and to an institution like this. Jeff representative Simone Lewis expounds on the collaboration and funding of the project. He was awarded the grant to implement the rainwater harvesting project called Benina Harvest 2030 and it's being done in conjunction with Barbados. So one of the activities under this project, apart from the practical experience you would have had thus far in the construction of the roof and the plumbing aspect. Prior to the launch, students were exposed to hands-on training in constructing the rainwater habitat system. One student speaks of the wealth of knowledge she has acquired thus far. This experience was, was a fun-filled and a very educational experience. Did you know that Nawasa is unable to supply water for all the population of the island? This is one of the first things we learned by taking part in this project. In my opinion, the rainwater harvesting project was a very life-changing one since we are now able to build rainwater harvesters and we now understand how crucial rainwater harvesting is for the world today. Two students will have the opportunity to travel to Barbados to tour a number of other renewable energy projects. Akisha Felix for GBN News.